Uh, this video, we're going to take a quick look at how I play She Talks to Angels about the Black Crows, open E tuning. Uh, your A string comes up a whole step to a B, uh, D a whole step to E, and G up a half step to G sharp. To give it this nice E chord. So let's play the intro and then we'll break that part. string with a hammer on from 4 to 5, and then open E, slide down, then those two strings again open B and E. Then a hammer on G, B and E, back to G, pull off, then open D, and strum through uh, the strings slowly. Uh, just uh, watching Rich play it and listening to it, my ear hears a full E kind of a grip there. I've seen some that will just play it with kind of an E7 grip. Sometimes I hear almost like just maybe the top four the first time and then, you know, five the second time. But really watching the live videos most of all the time, it seems that uh, it's just a whole E grip that's grabbed. So that's what I'll do for this video. That's what my ear and I feel like is the most accurate thing to do. And there's harmonics. 12th fret and 7th fret, piece of cake, right? But I do see Rich always go to getting an upstroke. And it does seem to sound uh, like the studio track. Slide from 2 to 4 on D, open in G, and then this sort of pull off look, 3 open to D string, 5 open to D string, then back to, it finishes with just 3 notes, open D, open G, second fret D, then open D. First fret G, open G, second fret D, and a strum. Those are the notes underneath a droning top E string. The only exception is on a G sharp, I play a B string, and then second fret D, I play a G string, and then the strum. That's probably the trickiest lick in the whole song, so I think it's uh, worth doing it really slow. Sorry. That's uh, probably the most complicated part of the song is the intro. Let me play all of that together uh, so you would have something maybe to practice with that's slow and then maybe a little closer to tempo.
verse, which basically uh, we'll use the harmonics. EMB string, fifth fret B against the high E, just a unison, unison there. simplest way is just a bar across the 7th fret, a bar across the 5th, to open, and uh, that sounds great, and might be a really good way to play it. I like this voicing better than just the bar for my ear, and it's kind of what I, I see Rich doing, so this is open A, 7th uh, fret on the D and G string. 5th fret on uh, B string, and then an open E. So I'm playing 5 strings. Again, I see Rich doing this. This is just a bar from the D string to the high E string on the 5th fret. Bringing my thumb over to get the A on the bottom, but not getting the A string, kind of muting it. It's a, it's a little strange, but um, it's a really nice voicing. I'm borrowing uh, the E string through the G string. Open. So if I was recording it in the studio, I might take a run at that just to have a lot of cool voicings going on at the same time. So that kind of gets us through the verse and the chorus. Um, let's just play through a little bit of that uh, together, the intro into that, and then we'll move on. So I just, just sort of chunk to the bridge, then uh, the first hit I just get a bar on the 5th fret, then I add 7th um, fret of D and G, and 
then push my pinky up to the 8th fret of G. And then I kind of like an A, or sorry, an E7 grip here, uh, or sort of position shape. Just my ear, it wouldn't be wrong to maybe use the full E like we've been doing. Um, and you could just sort of use um, maybe what you prefer, your feel. It's kind of hard to hear it in the mix of the, the studio track. Sort of like this. Could be another option. I just just shrug again. plays a double chorus at the very end of the song. Uh, and it tags the last line twice. Get you through it. I hope uh, that makes some sense and you enjoy playing it. Thanks for watching.